<laughs> Hello! People, my name is Kale Boss. Hmm? The only boss. <laughs> oh, wait, what is? Ah, have you heard? Wait, do you know that Tap Tap Send is live in Texas? Oh, you didn't know. We went to New York. Now we are live in Texas. So people in Texas and around, all you have to do is to download Tap Tap Send. Yes, Tap Tap Send has become the most unique, secure, and fast way of sending money across the world to your loved ones anywhere. Okay? So download Tap Tap Send on Google Play Store or App Store. And when you're in Texas or around, you just have to put in the code TXGH. What did I say? T X G H and you get ten dollars for your first transaction you make. But yeah, my hammer made it. Texas, you drew huh? Very soon we will conquer everywhere. <laughs> Download Top Top Send now on Google Play and App Store. Top Top Send, it's secure, convenient, easy, and fast. <laughs> Capstone E Global Consort Limited. Hey, you make we be a registered nurses, drivers, a homo GCC license, NFA securities. Hey, you make we be a who drove this to say Dubai, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, NFA USA. Na me ne wakasa CC akra. Homo pe registered nurses. Hey, you make we USA. Akoye you make we just ka pudro. Anne. Na enya we po. Capstone E Global Consort Limited. Hey, Sanso Buama. Sao peka ato fria manoni. Homo ba ye hon shi shi ni nama. Na unse timiaka. Ka biara ya dawa kuma so wa bra wo mre ho e jo mo si bra mo so ya sesi a wo be wu mo otama community na mo ni asama timba market ene di hwe ni mo ana se fro mo e wo 0599183083 ana 0302986573 ama no ni fo so fro mo plus 8210218112278 capstone e global consort limited your success is our business Special welcome to you and everyone who has tuned in to Sammy Flex TV here on YouTube to be part of our daily videos talking about the editorial Sammy Flex Speaks as well as Showbiz Daily. We do this with you and I do this with my crew, Digital Rasta, who is on camera, and uh, Richie Flex is the editor director of the show. My name is Sammy Flex, and if you are here for the first time, you should know that you are here for some of the best content ever on YouTube, and you can get this right here on Sammy Flex TV. If you have not subscribed to us, please do, because this and many more are the things we know how to do best. There are some things we don't know how to do, but this one, we know how to do it very, very well. And um, you have to download the app called Tap Tap Send if you have to be sending money from abroad to Ghana and to some West African countries. The only app that will give you that particular smoothness, that safety, and the quickest way to do it is Tap Tap Send. Just an app on your phone, download it, put in your bank details, and as much as you're a first timer, use the promo code SAMIFLEX. The promo code SAMIFLEX will surely give you the opportunity to make some extra money into your account. These and many more are the good things you enjoy when you get tap tap send. So far, they have been tried and tested, and they have proven to be the best. Tap tap send is what I recommend for you. I keep telling you that. If you want to try whether your tap tap send is active and working completely, you can use the number on the screen to send something and I'll receive it and let you know that your tap tap send is active and ready to go. Hmm. Today is going to be a long day. It is going to be a long day because I have a series of tweets to read. It is going to be a very long day. I woke up in peace. Not knowing the day is going to be one that will once again rekindle some long-standing enmity. That's what people have for me. But do I really have a case like that? I can only do the work of God as I've been doing over the years. Both on radio, on TV, as well as even online. We still have to do it how we do it. So, let me give you a little bit of a background. I remember some time ago, a certain boy called Something Junkie decided to come at Sami Flex TV and my staff members 
as much as Sammy Flex persona. Yes, I hear he's based somewhere in America. As I talk to you, I don't know whether that junkie is alive or dead. I've not checked on him. I know he has also not checked on me. Because first of all, we were not friends. We could have been friends, but unfortunately, as fate would have it, we couldn't be. And we are what we are today. Or we were what we are today. So the junkie is minding his business. And of course, Sammy Flex is also minding his business. It wasn't a junkie alone. And some few people who do not understand the job of a journalist, the job of a broadcaster, the job of someone who is an entertainment person, maybe analyst resource person, and some few people who were thinking like the junkie. Those days, they were always fighting me because according to them, and once again, listen, it is not me saying it. According to them, they said, Sammy Flex has sat on his platform to say that Nigerians should be quick to document everything if they can about Amapiano. And that if they don't do that, sorry, South Africa, thank you for that one. South Africa should do everything possible to document Amapiano if they can. And if they don't do it, some people with numbers and influence will come and take what belongs to them. According to them. To them, that's what they had. Well, I remember this what I said. That at this stage, everybody who has released any sound. That they would want the sound to be known for them, with them, and by them. The people should document it. Because if you don't. At any point in time, when someone comes in with influence, the person is obviously going to own it. That's what I said. This I said as other people said, hey, why did you say this? Come and see. Bullets, bomb, ammunition, cars, flying arms. In fact, every other thing some, they brought it onto Sammy Flex. Interestingly. I chested all these bullets, gigi, 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 and I was chesting them. They were firing salvos, bullets, bombs everywhere. The Odeshi in me chested everything. Gigi, 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 gigi. I chested everything on this platform. Here am I, still doing the work of God. And the junkie, like I'm saying, I don't know whether he's alive or he's dead. But I pray he's alive to see the goodness of what I said today. I pray the junkie is alive. To see the goodness of what I said then. That he wanted to kill me for. That he wanted, according to his words, he wanted to expose me for. I pray that the junkie is alive today. To see that we, we don't take back chat. Like the Patois people will say. We don't take back chat. Everything we say, we know it and we follow it with facts. Now, let's start a process. This is how the process started. As usual, I can share my morning routine with you. When I wake up, sometimes around 6, 7 that way, what I do is to go onto my workspace, activate my laptop to see what I can do for some two hours, at least between um, 6 and 8, 39 that way. Because at that time, I know I won't go anywhere when I'm at home. I do that within my confines. So today, I did that. The first thing I checked was, not my mail. I opened it. I, I activated Twitter. And I saw Twitter had some trend in there. I'm a piano. And my producer will show you everything that I'm going to say today. I'm not going to tell you lies. Because here, we don't speak lies. Then I saw that, oh, Ghana Twitter trends. I'm a piano was trending at number four. I said, oh, I'm a piano trending at number four at this time. What could be that? I said, well. It is not a problem. Let me go in there to see why Amapiano is trending at number four. I went to check why Amapiano is trending at number four. And it was something similar to what I had said some time ago. I said, oh my God. Why are people keeping so long to call Sammy Flex showbiz prophet? Because I am a prophet. Everything I talk about in this space be it here in Ghana or outside of Ghana, comes to pass. 
And this I said came to pass. I remember saying that they should do everything possible to document it, to own it before some people will come with influence to snatch it away from them. Now, why Amar Piano was trending at number four in Ghana Twitter trends was that a rapper, I'm sure he's an American rapper, because um, a little search from him says he is an American rapper. Unfortunately, some people also think he's a Nigerian. Um, I've seen some comments like that. They think he's a Nigerian, but I'm sure he is saying that it is because he has some Nigerian influence on him and Nigerian friends, blah, blah, blah. But research on Google says that Sweeney is an American rapper. I don't know much about him, honestly. I don't know much about him. I think that some time ago, some DeVito issues happened. When the DeVito Benna Boy saga happened, when DeVito said Benna Boy was um, um, a newcomer or he was part of the new cats, yes, the word, the new cats. I think I saw him in a video contributing to that conversation. It came to pass. I did not really recognize or pay attention to him like that until today. When he has started the Amapiano Piano conversation. Now, let me see how best I can speed this up so we finish. <coughs> let me clear my throat. He tweeted that, wait till you all hear Sweli on Ama Piano. Wait till you all hear Sweli on Ama Piano. And interestingly, do you know what he did? He added the Nigerian flag. The green, white, green flag. Of course, that flag is a very powerful flag. No twist about that. And if where you see it, you know that it commands some authority. So that was how it started. That to him. He's saying that, wait till you all hear Sweli on Amar Piano. And he added Nigeria to it. So, when people who are in South Africa, or when South Africans saw this post, or saw this tweet, and knowing that the guy added Nigerian flag to Amar Piano, I'm sure they were alarmed. It came to them like someone had rang an, an alarm in the country that green, 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 everybody wake up, wake up, wake up, collect your uh, general, wake up, collect your general. They started chasing Sweli. Left, right, and center. South Africa did not spare Sweli. Left, right, and center, giving it to him. Woto, woto, woto. Like, what do you mean by um, I'm a piano is Nigeria? What do you mean by attaching Nigerian flag to I'm a piano? Why are you quoting Nigerian flag in this tweet, making them feel like they are the people who own Ama Piano? They did not spare him. In fact, if the rain whipped you, say it whipped you. Don't say I was sacked by the rain. Say it whipped me. And I can tell you that the many people did not spare Sueli. And whilst they were doing that, I'm sure he knew that fire was coming. Hmm. Then he came to do some other tweets trying to explain himself when he realized matters were getting out of hand. And he said, for the ones outraged about the flag, I put, okay, for the ones outraged about the flag, I put it because I am part Nigerian. Listen, I put it because I'm part Nigerian. I didn't say anything about the creation of the general, you all twerking or something. So big up to South Africans for creating this beautiful shit as usual. It says, uh, Sweli World Peace. Then this time around, do you know what he did? When he tweeted the Sweli World Peace, or the Sway World Peace, he brought in the South African flag, and he brought in the Nigerian flag together. Then he says, I never discredited nobody. Sorry, you all read it that way. I okay, sorry you all read it that way. I never said anything about its origins in that tweet. I was just letting my fans know I am tapped in a piano style songs. Salute to the history of Ama Piano and the first creators of it. I'm not taking that away from anybody. Much love and stay tuned. So you see, this is how South Africans were awoke. And as a matter of fact, whatever agenda or whatever it is Sueli was doing, they were able to crash it down. In fact, they put in their energies, their strength, everything to crash everything down. It did not end there. He even went ahead to put out a video 
apologizing and explaining himself again. Because when he said that thing, he was not going to explain anything like he's explaining until people came. I, I hear he has even deleted that particular uh, tweet. I hear he has deleted it. Because the fire that came on him, he couldn't stand it. He had to delete it for people to know that, hey, I did not mean Nigeria. He deleted it because South Africans did not sit down for him to start that agenda, unfortunately. I'll tell you another story. Now, I've told you he also put out a video. I hear he's in Dubai or something. He also put out a video talking about why he put out a flag and the fact that he didn't mean to credit Amapiano to Nigeria. Well, let's go watch Sweli in this video. When I come back, we'll be wrapping up. I just want to say that tweet was not to, you know, start division between all of us, like, different type of Africans. Like, I'm just saying, I was specifically introduced to M piano by Nigerians. And I'm, I have Nigerian in me. So when I put the Nigerian flag, I'm not taking it away from anybody. Salute to the originators. You know what I'm saying? When people do hip hop music, we don't take that away from them. We don't make it like a game. Like, it's not us versus them, them versus them, us versus, you know what I'm saying? They ain't picking sides. It's just like creating great music. Salute to the originators. You know what I'm saying? But I was just saying, my style, like, I, I got Nigerian in me, you know what I'm saying? I, that's what I was saying. I wasn't trying to discredit anybody, so all that smoke and shit, like, it's love, you know what I'm saying? I'm sway well, peace, you feel me? I fuck, it don't matter what part of Africa you're from with me, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so, alongside, I decided to follow this, and I got some interesting points out of this. Let me see how best I can bring some of these issues, one after the other. So, I'm going to read some tweets from some people. Um, Risto, and these are some Nigerian influencers on Twitter. And this one, Risto, it says, Without Ashake, my piano as a general wouldn't even be as big as it is now. And listen to this very well. Without Ashake, my piano as a general wouldn't be as big as it is now. Mm. South Africans just need to accept that Nigerians better the sound. Thank you. Mm. Okay, thank you for the log drum, whatever, but Nigeria will take it from here. <laughs> oh my God. Someone called the junkie. Someone called the junkie. I want the junkie to be alive to see what is happening. It says, without Ashake, I'm a piano as a general. Wouldn't even be as big as it is now. South Africans just need to accept that Nigerians better the sound. Thank you for the log drum, whatever, but Nigeria will take it from here. See? And this is what I have been talking about every day. This is it. So now, everybody is seeing it happening. This is what I have been pointing out every day when I'm talking about sounds and Nigeria and the fact that they can bully you into it. This is it. Listen to the words. South Africans just need to accept. Listen to the word too. They just need to accept that Nigerians better the sound. Same way. Afrobeat Ghana. To them, Nigeria better the sound. High life Ghana. Nigeria is better in the sound. Now, even real. From UK, America. Ghanaians making it popular in Africa. Now they say they want to take it up and put in their own signature and sound in it. Funny, isn't it? Now, this same Risto comes and he says, Keep crying, but fact remains fact. Nigeria made a piano global and it is painful for South Africans to see and Ashake haters too because he took it to the global height. It is today, one man. Mm. Now, it is getting there. Fact remains. Fact. Nigeria made a piano global and it's painful for South Africans to see. How? How? Everything... Nigeria made it global. Everything, Nigeria made it. Everything, Nigeria, everything, Nigeria made it global. And if I use this to mean that they can come and, and bully you around and own it, what is different from this? When people say this, right, it's fine. That they will make it global. When I also say they will bully you and make it theirs, that one, it's war. People will come all guns blazing, trying to chase Sammy Flex. Sammy Flex can't be chased out because I'm not bald-headed. 
You can only chase the bald headed guys out of town, but not Sammy Flex. Now, Basito, one account, a Twitter account from Nigeria that I've been following. Now, he says, the other day, Swiss Beat said he was one of the people that made Afrobeat acceptable in the US. And everybody wanted to tear him apart. Yet, we are the same people saying this. Banta is not bad, but this is not one. Let's not discredit South Africans on this Amapiano shit, please. Guys, this is a correct Nigerian talking. This is someone who knows that people's credits are not to be touched. This is one of them. Basito, if you know him, say hi to him for me. If you know him, tag him in this video. That I say, I bring him greetings from Ghana Sammy Flex TV. He's the guy. He speaks truth regardless of where it is coming from. The truth is painful, but he is speaking real facts to his own Nigerians. Where he said that, the other day, Sweet Beat said he was one of the people that made Afrobeat acceptable in the U.S. And everybody wanted to tear him apart. Yet, we are the same people saying this. Banta is not bad, but this is not one. Let's not discredit South Africans on this Ama Piano shit. God bless you, Basito, for speaking the word of God to these people. We thank God for you saying this. Now, hmm, let's go on to my brother, Joey Akan, of course. There wouldn't be any sound discussions in Nigeria and other countries that Joey Akan wouldn't be a part of it. Now, this is what Joey Akan is saying. He says, Amma piano originates from the Igbo phrase, Amma piano. Amma means no in the Igbo language. Amma piano translates into English as knowledge of piano. There you go. I'm the first music journalist to document the original definition of Amma piano. <laughs> I want to believe he was joking with this. I want to believe he was joking, so I won't say much. Now, Joey Akan is telling us Amma piano originated from Igbo phrase. Hey! Naija, Omo, Omo, this time around, you guys are doing it so much, yo. Ha! Like I'm saying, this one is joking, so let's ignore this and maybe move on to other things and um, we'll be wrapping up very soon. And um, I saw another tweet coming from a gentleman called Daniel Riga. Um, and he says, Nigeria didn't create a piano and doesn't own the music genre. It belongs to South Africans. Stop discrediting SA. It may seem like cruise, but this is how misinformation is spread. Everything shouldn't be considered as a joke. And my piano represents the people of SA. Respect that. <laughs> you got it? If you don't get it, forget about it. <laughs> this is what Daniel Riga is saying. That Nigeria didn't create Ama piano and doesn't own the music genre. It belongs to South Africa. Stop discrediting SA. It may seem cruise, it may seem like cruise, but this is how misinformation is spread. Everything shouldn't be considered as a joke. And my piano represents the people of SA. Respect that. And I love when he said, stop discrediting SA. I like it when he said, it may seem like cruise, but this is how misinformation. In fact, you can also say disinformation. This is how misinformation or disinformation starts. And I was so happy he was able to pinpoint that directly. That stop cruising. If you think there's a cruise, stop it. It is not a cruise. This is misinformation. And if they keep quiet, it will continue like this and it will be what it is. If they keep quiet, it will continue like this. Oh, I'm a piano, Nigeria, I'm a piano, Nigeria, I'm a piano, Nigeria. Before you see, people are writing that I'm a piano started in Nigeria. And when it gets into that time, you are done. Like we are done with Afrobeat. When it gets into that time where people start to document that I'm a piano is from Nigeria, we are done. So this, I said some, some time ago, I don't know if it, it has been years, maybe last year or two, and... Since then, I have developed some hatred from some portions of Nigerians. Not all of them. Hey, some are my good friends. Not all of them. Some are my very, very good friends. Shout outs to Fidelis Osara and the rest of the people who are good friends to me here who are Nigerians. Fidelis Osara, these people sometimes be send me money. That's something flex. Take money. Chop money. Chop money free. Because you are doing something great. Chop money. But to some people, Including the junkie who started this agenda. 
the junkie started the agenda of coming to um, expose Sammy Flex. He would sit in his beautiful studio and start saying trash. Start saying that even my subscribers are robots. Oh my God. Junkie said that they said me, Sammy Flex subscribers on YouTube, they are robots. <laughs> if I can buy robots, I will not be 142k subscribers. Like I'll be 1 million subscribers. If I can buy robots, why would I be 142 when I can buy robots? Nah, man. Like 1 million. Straight. I won't play small if I can play big. No, I won't play small. So ladies and gentlemen, I don't have much to say. But it is just to just let you know that. Some reflect sometimes the things I see, nobody sees. I see it alone. That's why when I'm saying it, I, I try to um, defend it with all the spirit and energy in me. Now, I also, whilst I'm trying to wrap up, I came across a tweet from Olele Salvador, who tweeted that, Meanwhile, multiple award-winning and legendary American producer, Timbaland, posted this IG reel of himself jamming to Ghanaian songwriter and singer Herman Swade's Kumbaya with his own refix. It's been two hours since he posted, and guess what? Flag is in the caption. Once again, we check the flag, and the flag is what? Nigeria. But once again, here, I don't know who to blame. Timbaland is listening to a young man in Ghana called Herman Sweet, his song called Kumbaya. And in listening to it, the man decided to credit a country, and do you know the country he credited? He credited Nigeria. And it's been more than 24 hours, and it is still what it is that Kumbaya is a Nigerian and he is enjoying his song. Guys, it's a sad story, but what can we do? But at least for the first time, I can feel free and say that Sammy Flex is no more a troublemaker. In fact, I am not the, the boy people or the man people think I am. I've been vindicated highly. I have been highly vindicated. What I said, what I prophesied some years ago, today, I woke up and that, that was what met me first when I opened my laptop. Twitter, and my piano was trending. Let me go check. Why is my piano trending? I checked and it was like that. And of course, some people who are Nigerians are online defending this. They think that it should be Nigeria because to them, Nigeria made it global. It should be Nigeria because to them, Nigeria has made the song popular or the genre popular mentioning asha k and um the video and a couple of them that they made it global enough is enough i'll see you again in editorial number two my name is sammy flex you know the truth don't run away from it at least sammy flex i have been vindicated respect me put some respect on my name i'll see you again in editorial number two i'm out of here